So, I feel like my run of this game as of now has been going pretty well, you know, like I've been enjoying myself. Uh, more so, I feel like, than the first game. And, um, you know, people have been really good about respecting my, my boundaries of, you know, f from the common sections about trying to let me experience the game at my own pace. So it was really a shock this morning when I woke up and there are like five people telling me that you find cake mix here at the parlor of Pianta Parlor Parlor Pianta. Why? It's here, by the way. But like, why though? Like, y'all have been doing a great job up to now. You know, le letting me just play. So like, why? Why was this in particular the one where people were just fighting over each other to make sure that I don't miss where 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 the cake mix is at? Like, does it matter that much? Like, I'm just bewildered. I can't be angry because I'm too confused. I, I just I don't get it. Like, I don't I just don't get it. I. Please don't do that again. Like, sure, I'm sure I said so. you know, yeah, I was out loud asking about cake mix, but, you know, in the way that I talk to myself in order to communicate my thoughts, not in a, I genuinely need to know this information, because I feel like I tend to be very explicit when I expect, like, an actual answer. See, for example, the end of uh, last night's uh, Rain World as an example of that. I do. Here you go. Mix that cake. Trouble test. What is rune powder? <laughs> like, what does that mean? Hey there, once I got playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, by the way. All right. Uh, Dead it. We got 30 coins. Well, no, yeah, I'm just bewildered. Let's let's not do that again, please, y'all. Like, especially, it's the fact that I feel like my first Paper Mario run was kind of infamous for how I I broke down and you know lashed out at the audience and how everything turned out. I I think people would would be careful about these things, but I guess wondering where the cake mix was was just was too much too important to people's souls. I I don't want the whole session to be about that, so I'm I'm gonna shut up about it, but I'm just again bewildered. Uh oh All right, I'm gonna go to Bubulber that is gonna ask me for a food. And I'm gonna go to another place and I'm gonna get that food. And it's, again, just a... Uh, just a wonderful time management tool for fools. Hey, your girlfriend's there and your dad's there. Very peaceful. Hell yeah. Sounds great. Oh, you're not. Is there another Bobald in Fiddleberg? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Whoops. Yeah, there's a mechanical fish from Mega Man 3 in the water here, so, you know, be careful. Sup? Hello and good day. That's right. Uh, Alright, so you want a specific food. Hot dog! Hot dog! I used to have a hot dog before, but it got stolen to me in the fight. Uh, all right. I would like a hot dog. Oh, and you're uh, acknowledging catnip. Hoggle hot dog. Hell yeah. That's me with a hot dog. Hot dog. That's right. 
It's neither a dog nor would it be all that hot by now. Munch, smack, gulp, erp! Why? Why? Like this... I... I don't know how to react to this. Why did Nintendo was like, you know what this game needs to be better? Overt filler. That... That's what all the kids are into these days. I'm gonna be like heckin' wild here, just like absolutely nonsense, crazy, yahoo. I'm gonna buy two hot dogs. Uh, because even if, um, if you don't want it, hot dogs are like good things. Wow, do you have like no object permanence? You just keep noticing catnip for the first time, it's pretty good. The good news is I keep using the blimp back and forth, uh, ensuring that we are making extremely inefficient use of whatever powers up this balloon. Hooray! At no cost for me! Hey, I heard you like hot dogs. Hell yeah, hot dog dreams! Hot, hot, hot. Spicy hotness. Big fan. Sweating. <sighs> well, I still have a hot dog. What does it do? Yeah, see, that's pretty good. No regrets. Mushrooms, like, that's what's annoying. You do nothing. So you put a job on a cork board and you you basically are allowed, as long as your request on the board is vague enough, to just basically boss whoever takes the job, right? I feel like in the universe people have figured that out and that's why no one touches any of them ever. They've all been burnt by this in some way or fashion. And now, no one just touches those anymore. You've ruined it! You've ruined a little something you had. Something. Hey, hey again. You appear, you give me my piantas. Then I trade the thing. I take the cake mix. Yup. Uh, I want that. Nope. And then I'm going to leave, and then you're gonna have me give you all my tokens back. It's a clear, elegant system with zero waste involved. I don't know what ruined powder is, but I'm thinking, hoping that for a moose keg, you just need a cake mix, and that it, and that's it. Because we're not doing a hard cake, which is what means uh, ruined powder. Make me a cake. Yes! Cake mix and nothing. These up! Mentioning a, a singular object. I'm guessing at some point the ability to combine things will come, and for now we just got singles. Single item cooking. Mario, Stompy, you look like someone who hates cake. 15 FP is pretty good. You still look so mad though. It's like you can't, you can't separate or like your, your passion for cooking things overpowers your very obvious disdain for Stompy crushes a lot. Like, I feel like, going forward, like, are they all really going to be like this? I sure did! Have some cake, stuff it down your maw! Munchnart yum erp! Hot- two hot dogs and a cake! Yeah, that's a... It's a pretty good meal! 
Okay, see? I, I'm... This is soothing my rising humors. Dried bouquet! Oh boy! One HP! So I can get one dried bouquet for one hot dog. But all it does is replenish one HP. But if that's a thing, I feel like they're probably important for something? Maybe another quest line down the line or something. Like like right now my 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 reflex is like, can I can I have it cooked into something else? But like if it's just gonna give me like a fire flower or something, it's like whatever. Fire flowers are pretty strong, like, items in battle. I don't know. I, I feel like the fact that there is a hot dog dried bouquet line... To me, that seems like an indication of something that's um, going to be important later. So yeah, I'm not going to destroy it. I'm not just going to use it for the one. At least not now. I, I could see myself one day being a bit desperate, but not yet. And anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. You're the Twilight guy. Darkly, the Twilight person. That's right. That is so strange and specific. Did you just give your name away to the Fae, Mario? That's what it sounds like you just did. That is so odd. Catnip! Yeah! Right, on his butt. Well, that was... Extremely simple. Assuming, again, we did not just get tricked by the Fae. Uh, in which case, I feel like we just kind of walked right into it. Uh, and yeah, the way to get it done is we go down the other side. That was so weird. Like, it was just such a non-thing. I guess... They just wanted to have a check somewhere to make sure you just don't go to a future world too early and you know I mean it's it's fine it's a little amusing I have no problem with it it's just odd it's just odd by how simple it is but yeah here we go off to the twilight world I guess that first save I'll save it'll be a shorter episode after editing especially but I don't know what I'm getting myself into here in chapter 4 for pigs, the bell tolls. It's for whom the bell tolls, right? The actual idiom? Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is Haunted World. There's crows. There's a polygonal pig, which stands out quite a bit. And another Diku kid. It is very Twilight. They're all stitched up. <laughs> so that's the perfect- yeah, exactly. This is a pretty good way to ringing the month of October, isn't it? Peg! Made of polygons! Okay, so that was not voluntary. I thought it was like hiding or something. You're like dolls, cause yeah, like, your seams are all messed up. You can see like, actual like, um, stuffing inside your head. <laughs> 
Dower. Oh, this place is rad. Like, just initial impression is really, really fun. Twilight Town. You just phase through the pig, Mario! You gotta be careful about these things. This all happened on its own. The creepy steeple. Is it a big blue rocky thing? It's curse ordained that when the steeple bell rings, yeah, comes a pig. I mean, would it work on us if we're not locals? Like, we're not what you are. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> but there's something that fits your description pretty directly. <laughs> I guess it could not be also. It could be a ruby star. Oh no! Man, like, this is pretty tragic. Like, it's just, I feel like it's undercut by the knowledge that whatever I do will probably fix it for everyone. Do pigs feel stuff? Ah, oh, see, like, this is super weird neat cool. This is such a cool little play- Oh, I was hoping you'd be a pig and so I'd get free board. Uh, that's not gonna work out. I'm not even talking to you. This is super rad. Oink, oink, oink! Oinkity, oinkity! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any oinkies in here? Okay, so maybe you're safe if you're indoors? Man. Oh, and there's like a whole bunch of garlic cloves in this wall. Yeah, that fits the vibe at the very least. Alright, we're saving. And next time, we are progressing over on to the side exit. Okay, no, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is looking to be really cool. Don't notice that there's one tree graphic being flipped. Don't notice that, okay? Just, just don't, don't, just don't notice it. It's fine. <laughs>